you're going to Disneyland, you spend a ton of money on tickets to get in the parks, you got Genie Plus, all the food's expensive, you feel like you're getting nickel and dimed everywhere, you're looking at Lightning Lane, you're like, do I need to spend this money too? Well, let me give you the tips I've learned on how to avoid spending money on Lightning Lane. <laughs> first ride we're going to talk about is Minnie and Mickey Runaway Railway. They just announced that this ride is going to be moving to the Standard Genie Plus sometime in the future. No date has been announced yet. But in the meantime, this is a ride that you really just want to sit down and watch. Um, keep an eye on the app and at certain times you'll see the ride uh, line drop down to 20 minute waits, you know, maybe 30 minute waits, which is a good time to be able to go jump in line. Now at night, this happens a little bit more often from what I've seen at least. And that's probably because Toontown closes down. So you really just have Minnie and Mickey and then Roger Rabbit over there for uh, what's still operating uh, in that kind of little corner. So keep an eye on it at night, especially keep an eye on it and you can run over and, and get in line real quick. One of the times we were able to do a, basically a straight walk on. So it, it's not one that you really need to pay for. You will have a shorter line. If you're watching this in the future, it's probably on Standard Genie Plus already. The second ride is Test Track. Now you really have three options when it comes to Test Track. One is to wait in an hour and a half, two hour long line. No one wants to do that. The second option is to pay the Lightning Lane fee. Uh, most of us don't want to do that either. Uh, the third way, and probably the best way to avoid the first two, is to wait in the single light rider line. It's going to be a much quicker line, and it's going to get you through without having to pay the extra fee. Now. If you have small kids or if you have a large group, you know, that might not be the best course, but for all intents of this video, doing the single rider line is the best way to avoid paying that extra fee. Third, and definitely not least, is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. This takes a few things to kind of keep an eye out for. One thing to know, they stop taking people in line an hour before the park closes. So if it closes at 11, you can't get in line at 10. Now, this also means an hour before that, the lightning lane stops selling. So at 10 to 11 is the last lightning lane they'll sell at 10.05, nothing more available if the park's closing at 11. So what you do is you wait until about 9.30. And the reason I say 9.30, and check the Disney app, because times may vary depending on the time of year, but at 9.30 is the fireworks show. And during the fireworks show, even if people are not out watching, they stop wherever they are to watch the fireworks. So during that show, there's less people getting in line. You combine that, with them selling less Lightning Lane tickets at 10, if you get in line about 940, that's when I found, 940 to 950, that's when I found the least amount of weight for that ride. And we never paid for that ride and ruined it multiple times. So when it comes down to it, go get in line after you see fireworks in the air. That's the best time. Best.
Thank you very much for watching. If you learned something and if this has helped you out, I would appreciate a subscribe and maybe a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, I hope we saved you some money and you have a great time at Disneyland.